Hello, everyone. I believe some people are trying to live for Jesus Christ, right? Some people may have a strong desire or strong passion in wanting to live for Jesus Christ. And what I believe I see or notice at times, probably some of those people, I believe I noticed this, probably some of those people are connected to bad friends, bad boyfriends, bad girlfriends, like bad peers. And you may say what, or you may ask me, what do you mean by bad? Bad, like people who are choosing to not go by Jesus Christ's rules. If you are trying to change your ways, if you are trying to stop bad habits, if you are trying to get rid of your sinning habits, why would you be friends be a girlfriend or boyfriend to someone who doesn't want to live for Jesus Christ? Why? If I am trying to do what is right, if I am trying to change and my friend wants to fornicate and lie and cheat and blah, 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 blah. If I choose to always be around that person, what do you believe is going to happen to me? I think I am either going to influence that person or that person is going to influence me. So if that person is not trying to live for Jesus Christ, I think I am going to be influenced by that person, right? Yes, I may have been friends with that person 10 years, 20 years, but aren't we serving two different kingdoms? If we die, that person, are, are we going to the same place? Are we? So, let's say that person influenced or influences me to do what is wrong. And let's say we both die, are we going to be hanging out having fun in hell? Are we going to be side by side holding hands in hell? Are we going to be sitting back, eating popcorn, watching TV? No, right? Look. How can you place loyalty of friendship over God. That person was always there for me. That person gave me food when I had none. That person has done so much for me. I owe that person to be their friend and always stay around them. Even though that person is influencing me to do what is wrong, on my way to hell. That makes no sense. Listen now, myself. 
I am not going to hell for nobody. I am not going to hell for my mom, my dad, my brothers, brother, sisters, nobody. If I had a wife, I am not going to hell for her. Not even if I had kids. If I had kids, I would not go to hell for them. Let's be serious. You may be trying to do what is right, but that friend or friends, if you fit this example, those friends or friend is causing you to do what is wrong. Leave that person alone. Kevin, that person is going to call me a traitor or I am not loyal. Like I am this whatever type of person. Stay away from those people, that person. Kevin, yes, I only have bad friends boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. So if I stop hanging around that person or people, I am going to be bored. <laughs> I am going to be bored, Uncle Kev. So you are being around people that are causing you to sin so you won't stop being around them because you are going to be bored. So you are risking going to hell because of boredom? You are risking going to hell because of boredom. Like, re repeat that stuff. Repeat that in your head. Like, does it make any sense? As I am now, I don't hang out with anyone that was part of my sinful life in the past. I don't. I don't go out to eat with them. I don't go to parties with them. Much of them I have not probably spoken to in years. Listen, if you are trying to start a new life, you probably have to stop being around people who are not trying to be part of the kingdom of where you are trying to be. Does that make any sense? So if you are trying to be part of the kingdom of heaven and other people, whether they say it or not, whether they are intending to or not. If there are people who are trying to be part of the kingdom of hell, why try to be their friend? Yes, we should teach people who are trying. We should, I believe we should teach people who are not with God, yes. But teaching and being close buddy friends, hanging out, blah, 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 blah. I think those are two different things, right? Two. I can teach a person and somewhat keep my distance. I don't have to be over the house day in, day out eating Cheerios with them, eating Captain Crunch. I don't have to be 
buddy buddy with that person day in and day out if that person is choosing to not live for Jesus Christ I hope this makes sense I think some people are continuing to fall away from the Lord because of friends girlfriends boyfriends peers why I may not be as popular I may not be as fashionable I may not have some things I used to have in the past but I am secure what is worth sacrificing your chance to get to heaven what is worth that we have I guess I can say one shot this life I believe in this life if you go to heaven it is going to determine what you will get in heaven I believe we have one shot like one shot as in this life once you leave are there any do-overs now I heard some people say they died and came back to life but let me say it like this this life is I'm saying this life is one shot some people may not come back to life I guess I hope this makes sense. God bless you.